If you were to go around town and ask, many musicians and scholars would argue that Franz Liszt is the greatest pianist of all time. Now you might ask, who is Franz Liszt? Franz Liszt was a virtuoso pianist and composer. And if you, like me, grew up watching um, classic cartoons, you would definitely be able to recognize the tune that was used in the infamous Tom and Jerry episode, Hilarious, where they used Franz Liszt's Hungarian Rhapsody number no. two for that segment. Now the point of this video is not necessarily to say whether we agree or disagree with if Franz Liszt was the greatest pianist of all time, but to go through some of the major contributions that he made that would pretty much substantiate very well those claims. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Crystal, a classical concert pianist, and on this channel I share practice strategies, performances, and just talk about classical music in general. So if you are interested in that type of content, please feel free to subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell so that you are aware of when I upload another video. Liszt was a virtuoso pianist, as I mentioned before, but he wowed audiences with his performances and we credit him with really influencing the way that piano uh, pianists perform today and musicians in general. When you think about the word recital, you should actually think about Liszt because he was the one that coined that word when we describe a performance by a soloist. So before Liszt, the musicians and performers actually played together Together in a concert or they shared uh, a concert time right so they wouldn't go out and perform alone but Franz Liszt was the first one to actually go out and play as a soloist and he proved that you had the ability to play as a soloist or a pianist violinist by yourself um, and still keep the attention of the audience Fun fact number two is that if you've ever been to a concert that had a pianist or a piano there, you might have noticed the position of the piano. And we can credit that to Liszt as well. So before Liszt, you would have the piano either with its back to the audience, right, with the pianist facing the crowd, or really the piano would be uh, positioned where the keys were towards the audience and the pianist back was to the audience. But Liszt decided to push the piano so that it would be sideways or at a right angle to the stage. And so you could see the right profile of his body as he played. And that position was great because you could see the positioning of the hands. You could see exactly what he was doing. He would be able to look over at the crowd as well and interact with the audience at the same time. And then also by having the piano on the side, you could open up the lid and allow the sound to project in the direction of the audience as well. So so, to this day, when you go to a concert, you see the piano in that position where you can see the side of the pianist, you can see their arms, you can see their hands, and you can see their face as well. The third radical thing that Liszt did to contribute to how concerts are performed today is the performance of music from memory. Yes, thank you, Liszt. Thank you so very much. For performing by memory. That had not been done before. So people before would carry their music out, they would have their scores, they would play from them. But when Liszt came out to perform his recitals, not only was the piano positioned in a different way, but he did not bring his scores with him. He just performed from memory and the crowd went wild because it was just unheard of to play all of those pieces of music from different composers from memory. And that is something that we still do today. Let me know in the comment section if you typically perform from memory when you are playing your instrument. Number four, imagine yourself sitting in a concert just in anticipation waiting for the soloist to come out. The way the soloist comes out on stage is also attributed to Liszt. He was the first one to actually come on stage from the wing in a concert. So typically when you go to a concert, you'll see that the performers or artists are coming out from the side or what we call the wing. 
this was the first one to kind of do that and so he was such a showman right he would just come out people would be so excited to see him and then he would go straight to the piano sit there and then play his concert and number five is a sidebar just I found it very interesting that Liszt is an author and I'm not talking about his compositions but did you know that he wrote a biography of Chopin and the book is called Life of Chopin which I'm sure would be an interesting read to get his take on Chopin's life right of course in this video I just scratched the surface of what Franz Liszt has done for the musical community but of course we wanted to just kind of go over some of the key things that Franz Liszt has done to have a huge impact on the way that musicians and pianists perform today. Before I end the video I do want to mention that I have space in my online piano studio so if you are interested in taking piano lessons with me online virtually you can do so um, whether that is you want to begin piano whether you maybe stopped in the past and you want to pick it back up or you want to advance in your current skills this would be a great opportunity for you there's a link in the description with an inquiry form on how to uh, begin lessons with me or you can go to my website at www.crystalthomas.com slash contact Thanks so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. I would really appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.